Our coverage of the newly proposed school start time plan continues tonight. Earlier we heard from Superintendent Marty Polio who says the plan will be a game changer. We've also been talking to parents, some with concerns and some who say this will help. Tonight, WHS 11 night teams Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie sat down with the JCPS bus union president. And Bobby, where does he stand? Does he support this plan? Well, Doug, while he likes the plan, Stovall says he believes student discipline is the biggest hurdle in addressing issues with school buses. He says it's the reason the district can't feel it's nearly 200 driver shortage despite competitive pay. When you consider this sound, you first have to consider this one. The sound of the many school buses that transport thousands of Jefferson County Public School students every morning and afternoon. I'm kind of encouraged. Uh, I think they need to think outside the box and I think they've done that. John Stovall, president of Teamsters Local 783, which represents JCPS bus drivers, says Superintendent Marty Polio's newly proposed school start plan is needed. A lot of the bus drivers get burnt out. And now, on top of that, they're working 11, 12 hours a day because they're having to do double shifts, uh, triple shifts to cover and make sure the kids get picked up. The plan would stop the multiple runs by staggering the start times from 7.40 a.m. to 9.40. And really, this is around what our students need. We have students today that are showing up late to school, significantly late. And they're having to stay many extra minutes and even hours after school until being picked up. Right now, all elementary schools start at 9.05 a.m., while middle and high schools start at 7.40. Early childhood centers would start at 10.40 under the plan, and the number of bus routes would decrease by 132. There still could be problems, but... I think it's a step in the right direction. But Stovall says the plan doesn't address a major concern he hears from his bus drivers. The biggest problem is student discipline. I, I don't think the public understands what the bus drivers would have to deal with. I mean, you can only be called so many names and threatened so many times. He says until the district implements more consequences for bus misbehavior, the driver shortage will continue. But he says this is a good step to make sure this sound is heard at all bus stops in a timely manner while saving bus drivers from burning out. Now Stovall also says hiccups could occur with the proposed plan if a bus is late at one or two stops, creating a ripple effect for the other pickup locations. But he says the plan seems to have buffers that would mitigate this scenario. I'm live in the studio, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119 on your side.